What's going on guys and welcome back to another video with your boy Jordan, your online physique building coach. So I wanted to do a video starting out about what's going on with my car right now. So the car is actually fixed. I did fix the clutch. We did wrap the clutch on to make sure that nothing goes wrong with that anytime soon because I, I really do want to kind of go to Mustang. We got to know if we'll make it or not, but look at this. This is what I'm about to go put on. Like in my opinion, headlights being clear or faded really does make or break my body style Mustang. And so my headlights have been getting more and more faded lately. They've been getting like more and more weathered. Um, my left headlight, which is really bad, I'm about to show you that, is started to get the condensation on the inside and it's just, it's just looking really, really bad. So I was like, all right, I found a really good deal on headlights. Got them for like $70. So I was like, why not get some new headlights for the Cobra? Like it deserves something new with all it's been through lately. All right guys, so really quickly, I wanted to show you how bad the old headlight looks. Like you can't even tell how bad it looks on camera, but let, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. So that is that is how faded that it looks. It's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. So that's what that looks like. This is the really bad one. Even the weather stripping is coming off on the side. That looks bad. And then this one, the clear coat is just starting to come off. It doesn't look that bad quite yet, but you can't tell some of the blemishes. This is this has been on here for like probably four years. This one has only been on here for a couple of years, but for whatever reason, the clear coat faded off. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and change these really quickly. It's really easy to actually go ahead and change your headlights. Only thing that you wanna do is make sure that you put a cloth under the headlight the whole part so that there's no scraping going on. So here's what happened guys. Like literally it seems like every two years that new edge headlights are manufactured the housing changes. Like, they, like everyone just wants to change the housing like over and over again. So when I took the headlights apart the housing was completely different and it just completely threw me off and I was like, how does this go? Oh crap. So I had to play around with it and, and kind of fit things together and that was why the video stopped and it looked like I was having trouble because the housing was completely different. But without further ado, here's how the headlights look now in the car. It looks, oh my god, it looks a hundred times better. about being an entrepreneur and having an online business is just it, there's a lot of putting out fires there's a lot of little frustrating things that go on behind the scenes it's like not filming videos like not actually working with clients but like working with payment gateways for instance there's something going on like all day yesterday and all day today with my payment gateway to where payments were not going through and I was absolutely stumped and working on that one issue for about 12 hours, which put me way behind on everything else. And it's just really frustrating, guys. But at the end of the day, as an entrepreneur, you learn something new literally about every day and every week. It's You are always learning. And for even people that aren't into entrepreneurship, if, if you're not constantly learning every day, like things are happening, frustrate you, and they're like problems, and like life is actually teaching you things through the problems. Like literally, just a second ago, I learned how to put on these new headlights. You know, they were, the insides of those headlights were a little bit different than the last headlights that I had. The housing was a little bit different. They redesigned the housing every couple of years. They do it a little bit better. You know, PayPal, which is the medium that I take payments through, has been restructuring everything. It's been messing with all of my payment gateways, but I've had to redo all of that and learn how to change all the API keys. And it's just, guys, if you don't adapt to change, you're never gonna make it like in anything. So message of the day, adapt. When things stress you out, learn how to do them and adapt. Don't don't let don't let the things that stress you out and make you anxious just like stop you from being productive whatsoever. Be anxious about it for a second and then get it done.
been a couple of hours since I last talked to you. Actually, we're, I wasn't talking to you. I was just working out at the gym. But anyways, outfit of the night. Got a little v-neck with like, it's basically like blue with different sprinkles on it. Got some of these little brown shoes. Got some of these little red shorts. So I'm just going to take the rest of the night off and chill. I know coming from me, that that's like, I don't like that word. So coming from me, you're like, what, Jordan, did you just say the word chill? And that's something that you're going to do? What is going on? Are you sick? Are you dying? Like, I could possibly be a little a little bit sick, but here's the thing guys, finally, and it's been a while, but finally I'm starting to achieve the goals that I want to with my business. Super excited. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. I'm just, I'm just like in, in happy land that I can actually help all of you guys. As of right now, I've got three client programs to build. I've started on a couple of them so far. I'm going to finish all of those Sunday morning. I've got about four videos to film, not including this one. So I've got a good bit of work to do Sunday. So Sunday's going to be a pretty busy day for me, but I've been working non-stop for the past like two and a half to three weeks without even taking half a night off. The most time that I've taken off in the past two weeks is going to see a movie and like just taking off that hour and a half and then coming back home and working until like 12, 1 a.m. in the morning. So I'm going to actually take off. All right, it's 7, 7.26, so I'm going to actually take off the rest of the night. What? Jordan taking off a full one night? Not a full day, guys. I don't take days off. You guys probably know that by now, but I'm just going to take the night off and enjoy it. Enjoy it, guys. So I'll probably see you in the morning. I might see you again tonight. I'll bring the camera with me and just in case I want to pull it out and film something, I might. If not, I'll see you guys in the morning. Have a fantastic Saturday night. Guys, I'm not really big on taking time off and relaxing and chilling, but at the same time, if you're getting where you want to go, you're, you're achieving the goals, you're achieving the milestones, you're hitting the bricks, you're pegging the bricks in the wall, you're building the house, you're getting to where you want to go. You have to stop and smell the roses every once in a while. You have to stop and, like, if you had a weight loss goal, if you had a big weight loss goal, like, boom, I was trying to lose four pounds this week. Cool. Let me have, like, a little Saturday night celebration. Like, you don't have to go, like, eat it like, and screw it up. But at the same time, like, enjoy your successes. Enjoy your climb up the mountain that is life. 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 No, no, life. On, guys, so it's about 3.26. It's the next day. It's Sunday. I've literally been just sitting here working all day. It's I uh, started working at around 10, so I've been working since 10. So not a ridiculous amount of work, but but today I'm doing all of my client programs that are starting on Monday. So like literally, my eyes are getting really burnt from staring at the computer screen and building programs. Because when I'm building programs, I have to really intricately look and make sure that every little thing is right. Because if I make a mistake on someone's reps or someone's exercises or anything like that, it's on me. So I've got to make sure, no mistakes, and then check it, and then double check it, and then triple check it, and then check it for a fourth time because I want to make sure this stuff is good. Like, like I, quality, quality with dirt. Like people need to expect quality from me. And so since they do expect quality from me, I'm going to need to be putting out quality, which means I'm going to be proof checking things over, over, over again and just making sure to do the best possible quality job that I possibly can, possibly can on every spreadsheet. I'm clearly kind of tired. Um, I'm not really all that physically tired. My brain is just tired because I've done so, like this has been a ridiculously busy week. It's been a ridiculously productive week, but you know, it's been great because of that. Like I'm not mad, I'm super excited. Business is better than ever. I'm, I'm just, might be getting a cold, I'm not completely sure. <laughs> Ugh. But anyways guys, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the video here. It's been a fantastic week, very productive. There's a good chance, if everything works out next week, that you will see me at Mustang Week. I can't promise you guys anything, but right now it looks like I might be able to go. So if I do get to go, hope to see a lot of you guys down there. I'm super excited about going if I can go. So yeah, that's about it guys been a great week i love you guys so much literally so freaking blessed to be where i'm at right now as far as helping you guys coaching clients all this sort of stuff it, it, it's awesome it is awesome to finally see things starting to move after all of these years of building things up and building things up so yeah 
be patient guys. Whatever you're pursuing, whether it's building muscle or burning fat or building a business or you're just in high school and you're ready to get through it or you're in college and you're ready to get through your classes and start your career, just be patient and be persistent guys. Hang in there. Keep grinding. With that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. All of love. I'll see you guys next time. Like if you enjoyed the video. Like That really helps me out a lot. Click that like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If, you're, if you want to subscribe really quickly, make sure that you click that bell beside the subscribe button because if you don't, you might actually be subscribed but not actually seeing my videos, which is really, really tragic. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure to comment. I will respond. All love. See you guys next video. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this episode and you're ready to take action, you are ready to take action on your fitness goals, go ahead and click the link below and join our fitness group. So this is a group for people that already have a little bit of a basis of how to lift weights. You, you know the form, you know how to execute the lifts, you have a basic knowledge on diet and macronutrients. You are someone that is known to get shit done and you are ready to get shit done right now. You are legitimately ready right now to change your life. This group is not for people that feel sorry for themselves. This group is not for people that sit around and waste time and procrastinate. This group is not for pessimistic people that they don't believe that they can accomplish things. This group is not for people that don't believe that anyone needs coaches, that groups are stupid, and that communities to help you move forward are dumb. Guys, if you want to join a group where everyone is holding each other accountable, everyone is helping each other move forward, we're just getting things done. Like, we're not procrastinating. We're going after all of our fitness goals right now. Seriously, guys, if you are ready to start taking action right now, then go ahead and click the first link in the description box below. Join in the group and let's get started. And like always guys, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment if you have any questions or concerns. I will be sure to answer all of your comments and subscribe to the channel for more if you're not already subscribed. All love. I'll see you guys next time.